Let's follow the track of the Ben Ben Stone. Maybe the original place of the Ben Ben Stone was the organic center of the crater. Later it was moved by the invading Sala monsters to the center of the crater, Jerusalem. Next the Crusaders brought it to the left half of the crater. By moving the Ben Ben Stone in 1250, they ignited a mini ice age. To hide their crimes, the Templars started falsifying history. By removing 450 years and starting the Holy Roman Empire, the Popes suddenly became successors of JC. But there was also probably another falsification in the other direction. In 1700 you have the rise of the machines. How could a little group of people conquer the whole world? Maybe they had a technological advantage. So this industrial revolution might have occurred much earlier. Maybe 1250 the moment the stone arrived at the left part of the brain. In 1700 you have the time period the Enlightenment, the use and celebration of reason. Let's take the sacred geometry and the flower of life. Put it on our crater with the seven chakra points. In the center you have the green color, Emerald City, Jerusalem. With the cross of Jerusalem, soon the crater was filled with sacred buildings. But when the Templars decide to transport it, a major cataclysm is happening. The whole force field is short-circuited. So from there the force field has to be rebuilt, but on one half of the crater, with Britain as center. So from there the whole world is reconquered, and the Ben Ben Corporation takes over the world. A new world is created. Symbol of power is the Globus Cruciger, by the grace of the royal hybrid bloodline. The New World Order, all based on a gigantic lie, of course. So what we are looking for is, where is the Ben Ben Stone? Let's follow the first lead, the Greenwich Meridian. That brings us to London. Greenwich. Or is it the Green Witch? Green is associated with Jerusalem or the center of the world. That would mean of course that London is the center of the solar system. The real solar system. How would this system work? Well, maybe the solution lies in the cross of Jerusalem. Four different suns, two turning to the right, two turning to the left. So the right turning sun would be hot and the left turning one cold. We are not talking about real suns of course, because these are reflections in the dome. That brings me back to my original concept, being a real sun, a reflected sun, and then four reflections in the dome. But Houston, we have a problem. When we zoom in, we can see the curvature of the Earth. Our good friend Mercator invented the Mercator projection. So where would be the real Greenwich Meridian? 
So maybe the stone is in one of the historical buildings of the Greenwich Meridian site. We have one building there in the form of a cross, the Royal Observatory. We certainly find a strange statue there. Yuri Gagarin. I thought the Russians were the enemy. Now look where Yuri Gagarin is standing on. Half the crater with a Möbius ring. The Möbius ring, of course, is a trick of perception. How to make a ball out of a circle. Another strange building there reminds me of the intro of The Prisoner. Looks more like an indoctrination center of the flying ball circus. Look, it's a dome. Let's follow another lead. Follow the flags. In the center of the world, Britain. In the center of Britain, England. And in the center of England, the city of London. Let's take a look at the symbols. Domine, dirige nos, Lord, lead us. And who is the Lord? The Lord is a metallic, robotoid creature. And who is we? The dragons. The dragons ask the Lord, lead us. And then we have the sword. The Two Dragons is the story of Merlin and the legend of Dinas Emrys. Here it is, lying in the north of Wales. Dinas Emrys. So you have Daenerys of the series Game of Thrones. Daenerys Targaryen. Land of the Aryans. Daenerys Targaryen, Dragon Mother. We know, of course, the Aryans very well. Where they come from, who they are. The von Sachsen Coburgs. And Daenerys sadly dies with a dagger in the heart. Like Richard the Lionheart. Jesus the Christ, Julius the Caesar, are they showing us the royal wound? Just a thought, let's suggest that someone wanted to destroy the Ben Ben stone by putting a sword into it. He who could pull out the sword out of the stone would have total control of it and become ruler of Britain. Let's go back to where it all started. So you're stranded on an island with a group of army people carrying a stone. What is the first thing you're going to do? Build a defense, of course. Well, the only building that fits the description and the time period is the Tower of London. Typical for the tower are the yeomen and the ravens. Well, Odin had two ravens. Odin hanging on the tree of life with a spear in the side. There is a story about Odin trusting a sword in a tree. Nobody seems to be able to pull it out, but later the sword is used by Siegfried to kill the dragon Fafnir. Then we have the yeoman. What a strange word, yeoman. I wonder if Yeoman stands for Jehovah Man. Protectors of the Stone. 
wearing some protective clothing. Let's take a look at the logo of Elizabeth II Reign. ER. Take a look at the crown. Take the map of the earth and the four force fields with in the middle the Ben Ben stone. The Templar's cross is the unfolded pyramid. So my guess would be that the tower was the first hiding place of the Ben Ben stone. Guarded by the priests, the yeomen. Let's take a look at another building from the same period. It's the temple church built by King John. Situated in the city of London. Inside the building you have the graves of some Templar Knights. Most of them are anonymous. Three of them have a name. You have William Marshall, Gilbert Marshall, and last but not least, Geoffrey de Mandeville. How strange, you have the story of John Mandeville traveling around the world. All the adventures can be shown on the Hereford map. Strange that a man with that name is lying in the church built by King John. Let's take a look again at Magna Carta and the seal. Only two pictures are known of King John. Take a look at his helmet and the helmet of Geoffrey de Mandeville. King John with the Globus Cruciger. And with the sword. And it wouldn't surprise me if that were Excalibur. Or are we seeing something completely different here? Is King John sitting on the Ark, holding the Ben Ben Stone and Aaron's Rod? Then Magna Carta is maybe Moses Carta, the Law of the Lord. Well, I could be wrong, but it is my guess that John Mandeville was the first king of the Ben Ben Corporation. King John, mass murderer and psychopath. Let's do another exercise on following the flags. Scotland blue, England red and Wales green. The Ka, the Ba, the green Solomon star, sun, earth, moon, and the eye of the dragon, the eye of Ra. Let's take a look at the Dragon of Wales. Let's zoom in on the capital of Wales, Cardiff. First thing I notice is a very strange building. It's almost like a fairy tale. A circular island with a tower in the middle. It's almost like an eye. Zoom out again and here we go again. Crater Earth. In the center we have a hexagon, St. David's Hall. If we put some lines through it, it seems like the tower is hexed. On the upper side of the hexagon we have Motor Point Arena. Seems like the red dragon has been put in a spell. Remember this one, where Disneyland is encircled by a railroad track. Let me guess. Compare the entrance of Disneyland and Cardiff. In Cardiff we have the Rugby Stadium. 
So it seems to me that the red dragon has been put in a spell. So the red dragon would be the Welsh dragon. Red dragon, white dragon. Where would the white dragon be? Seems like obvious that the second dragon would be in Scotland. What is the capital of Scotland? Or should we say Odinbara? Seems like obvious we end up in the castle of Edinburgh. Reminds me a bit of Minas Tirith, the castle in Lord of the Rings. Again, the same patterns here. But let's zoom in on Holyrood Park. There is a special place there, and it's called Arthur's Seat. And when we do some investigation, Arthur's Seat is the place of the sleeping dragon. Well, that was easy. But how would you put a dragon in a sleep? Maybe the same way you put a cobra in trance. Sometimes I wonder why they have these strange hats. The dragoons, the dragon guards. Well, I keep bumping into these dragons. So let's recapitulate. You have the organic life form. Red dragon, white dragon. Then you have the Ben Ben stone and the sword. Responsible for the creation of this synthetic overlay. And the manifestation of Yahweh. The synthetic overlord. Let's go back to Cardiff Castle. In the wall is hanging a rugby ball. I keep thinking that these ball games are part of the spell. Take a look at the vintage rugby ball. It's almost like they are showing our world. Well, there is something about this castle. It's like a fairy tale. An old spell of the Brothers Grimm. There is something like spell casting, but you also have broadcasting. Let's continue our search in part 3. See ya. <laughs>